welcome to another installation and setup guide by Grid Connect. Today we'll be installing the Smart Wi-Fi Fingerprint Entrance Lock. Start by unboxing your new Orion Smart Lock. Make sure your door meets the minimum requirements. Your door should have a standard 54mm cutout as well as a 60 or 70mm backset. Use the drill template to create a mounting hole directly above the main cutout. Identify whether your door is left or right hinged when viewed from the outside. Ours is right hinged, but yours may be different. If you have a left hinged door, take the front panel and pull the handle down to reveal a screw on the back and then remove it. Rotate the handle up and to the opposite side and then replace the screw. Repeat this step for the back panel. If you have a right hinged door, you may skip this step. Measure the thickness of your door, which should be between 35 and 55 millimeters thick. Choose the correct installation kit based upon the thickness of your door. Locate the latch. If your door has a back set of 70 millimeters, push the spindle slot outwards to the label marked 70 millimeters. If your door has a 60 millimeter back set, leave it retracted. Secure the latch with the provided A1 or B1 screws. Make sure the beveled edge of the latch tongue faces the direction of a closing door. Fit the A2 or B2 spindle into the front panel. Expand the clip around the spindle as you do and ensure it clicks firmly into place. The front panel should come with the rubber seal attached. If it's not, align the seal with the front panel and press firmly around the edges. There is a small arrow next to the spindle on the back of the front panel. Rotate the spindle so that it points at R for right hinge doors and L for left hinge doors. Align the spindle, cable and standoffs with the holes in your door and latch. Push the front panel in until it is flush with the door and hold it there while we complete the next step. Install the mounting plate on the inside of your door, ensuring the spindle passes through the round hole and the cable through the rectangular hole. Use the three provided A3 or B3 screws to secure the mounting plate to the front panel. Remove the battery cover from the back panel. Then, connect the wire from the front panel to the connector on the inside of the back panel. Make sure to press firmly and ensure the cable is properly connected. Fit the back panel against the mounting plate, feeding the excess cable inside the door. Secure the back panel using the two provided A4 or B4 screws. Test that the indoor handle will retract the latch. Install four AA batteries and replace the back cover. Your smart lock is now in demo mode. To create an administrator, wake the device with the back of your hand. Press star followed by the hash key to enter the setup menu. The default administrator password is 123456 followed by the hash key. Press 1 to manage administrators, then press 1 again to add a new administrator. You can then enter a fingerprint, RFID tag or passcode. However, a passcode is recommended during first time setup. Your lock will now exit demo mode. You can continue adding more administrators or press star to go back and hear other options. Once the first administrator has been set up, you can begin adding additional users. Press star followed by the hash key to enter the administrator menu. Enter a valid administrator password, RFID tag or fingerprint. Press 2 to manage regular users and then press 1 to create a new user. Follow the prompts and enter a new passcode, fingerprint or RFID tag. To begin pairing, enter the setup menu and select 1 to manage administrators. Then select 3 for network settings. Press 2 to select standard pairing mode. The 5 key will begin to flash, indicating the device is ready to pair. Inside the Grid Connect app, press the plus icon at the bottom right of the screen, then select Auto Scan. When you see your device, press Next. Follow the prompts and enter your Wi Fi details and password. Your smart lock is now connected. When linking a user to the Grid Connect app, 
start by selecting the lock in your device list. Select Users at the bottom of the screen and tap the plus icon. If the user has a Grid Connect account and you would like them to manage your lock, select App User. Otherwise, select Primary User. You'll be asked to give them a name. You can then link the user to their assigned user number on the lock. Your smart lock can be operated via fingerprint, RFID tag or passcode. Each of these must be set up as a separate user on the lock, but they can all be linked to one account in the Grid Connect app, giving you plenty of options to get inside after a long day. There's also a standard key provided, just in case. If you need to reset the device, simply remove the battery cover and use a small pin to hold down the reset button until a prompt is heard. This will return the device to factory settings. One last step, congratulations, your Orion Smart Lock is now set up and ready to use. For more information, visit grid-connect.com.au.